All right, guys. This is DJ Wolf for DJ Wolf Live. Um, I uh, I just got finished watching the video. All right, on YouTube, and they were going in on the advice show, Phil. Now I had to run with the advice show about a year ago. You about you probably a year year and a half ago, one night on uh, per Periscope. And he was a little standing office with me. I don't know why. You know, I could see what Tommy was dealing with when he talked to him himself a few years ago. But nevertheless, um, I'll say this in in, in defense of if I show, and this has been going around for about the past week or so. There are videos that people are posting on YouTube about the advice show uh, being pro-black and all of that, but yet uh, was involved with a woman who wasn't black. Here's my thing. So fucking what if he wasn't involved with a woman who wasn't black? Who gives a fuck? It ain't your business any goddamn way. You know? He's telling the truth about a lot of things that's going on in our community. But yet, when it comes to his personal life like that, oh, well, he ain't black enough. Y'all need to get the fuck out of here with that old stupid shit. First of all, it ain't your damn business about what he do outside of uh, YouTube. Definitely not mine. I could care less. You know? He's giving you knowledge about things you need to know and things you need to take action on and things you need to wake up on. And y'all too busy worried about... Well, he ain't black enough because he didn't wear ties his race. So, goddamn what? Y'all not challenging uh, 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 sports athletes or entertainers who date outside the race. They do it all the time. Y'all ain't saying shit about that. Or black women who marry white guys or black women who marry rich white guys and y'all say a fucking word. Y'all too busy praising them. But you worry about this guy uh, marrying um, outside his race. It ain't your business. It's not what he does... Uh, personally, this should be your business. It should be what you talk about on social media that should be your business. That's the main thing. I'm sick of this shit. Niggas always try to talk, talk, talk a bunch of double talk shit. That's why I state there is major cultural confusion in our, in our ranks, in our race. Because you don't know where, where the fuck you stand at. Half of y'all go one way and then they go the other way the other half. You don't know where you stand. That's part of the problem. That's what guys like himself, Tommy, uh, 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 um, Professor Black Truth, TBA, and, and myself and others talk about. Y'all don't know where the fuck y'all want to stand at anymore on anything. Some of y'all, some of y'all, some of the same damn niggas was out here uh, two years ago talking about, well, I'm going to vote for Trump because he's going to change things. He's going to create jobs. And yet, he put some of y'all straight out on your ass. He said he was not going to fucking support welfare no more. He already said he was going to abolish all of that. And some of y'all had nothing to even be at his rallies. Uh, one guy was at the rally, and they kicked his ass all the way out there, motherfucker. And he was a Trump supporter. Look at Kanye West. He don't know where he at anymore. <laughs> That's another whole story. You know? He talking about wearing. Uh, he was somebody quoted him. I don't know if it was fact, but it was a quote going around saying that he said, allegedly, that uh, his Trump hat was his, was the his Superman cape. <laughs> Boy, he's really going off the deep end. But you know, I I I I, I don't know, man. Now y'all saying that a vibe show is a swirling fraud, um, because of the fact that he had been involved with a woman who's not of a, you know, who's not of a melanated color or not a black woman. It's not your business, you know? It's not your business who you love or who you want to love. That's neither here, here nor there. It's really not. The main thing is, is what he talk about and what he does. He's involved socially in a lot of different things. You know, I've seen things where he went went over to Africa and involved with uh, African organizations and doing different things. He's involved with stuff in his hometown in Houston. He's involved with stuff, you know, 
across the country. He was here a couple of years ago with uh, Lovely T doing some work. Okay. I almost joined him because I, you know, out here in the DMV, I started to go out there that day and hang out with them and Tommy. I really did. But, you know, some of y'all guys, at least one thing I can honestly say if I show does, he puts his money in his heart where his mouth is. Unlike some of y'all niggas who all y'all do is just talk all day and keep a lot of shit going. Because you have no life. Yeah, I said it. Some of y'all ain't got no motherfucking life. You know? He's out there doing things, trying to change things. All you're doing is just sit there and bitch about it and bitch and bitch and bitch like a couple of bitches. Now, I'm talking about some of y'all who know who it, who is it, who it is. Okay? I'm just sick of this mess, man. Y'all, you know, some of y'all need to grow the fuck up and stop worrying about this guy's personal life. You know? How would you feel if somebody judged you outside what you did outside your job? Hmm? Would you feel the same way? No, I don't think you would. No, you would not. You'd be like, hey, you can't judge what I do. I no, yeah, right. So you're doing the same thing to him. Phil, keep doing what you're doing, bro. We may not always see eye to eye, but keep doing what you're doing. Fuck these motherfuckers who don't like, like the fact that you married somebody that you love. That was your choice. That was your heart. Not theirs. This is DJ Wolf for DJ Wolf Live. I'm out.